Integrity is out there. People talk about integrity all the time. Yeah. And so I just wanted to start a conversation. There's no right answer. There's no where I'm leading this conversation. But what does integrity mean for you? I know what it means for me, and I'll share that. But what does it mean for you? Yes, Agnes. Being honest with the people that I'm dealing with, and hopefully they will be honest with me. All right. So it means honesty. Which I think primarily starts with respect, respect for self and respect for others. Okay. Doing what you said you would do. Okay. When, uh, when you said you would do. And then last year. Okay. Anything else? I don't really know how to say this. It's about, for me, it's about being integrity with the self. I'm not quite sure what the word is other than integrity, but it, it starts with me. Okay. Whatever it is, I've got to put myself. It's got to be. It's got to sit around and wait for right. So it's not about whether somebody else thinks it's integrity, it's whether you think it's integrity. Yeah. All right? Yeah? Um, for me, I'd say it's in business, it's incredibly challenging integrity when your business partner thinks it's just one possible perspective mm -hmm. on looking at business. So, what is, so what's integrity for you? A real pain in the business I've been in Right. Do you want to tell So it's a pain, right? Now, why is it a pain, Richard? Bottom line is, it's a pain because I think actually I'm being right about integrity. Um, and he says, he keeps saying, stop being so arrogant, we will destroy our business relations if you are so ruthless with integrity. Right. <coughs> I have no view on it. Now, how many of you think integrity is kind of related to being right? Well, I think whatever we say at the end of the day, it does kind of relate to that. You know, right. We can talk around that thing about it isn't, and it, you know, and all that. Like, well, how many of you think it's a, it, there is a right and a wrong when it comes to integrity? Well, it's not necessarily your perspective. perspective. Yeah. Okay, it's your perspective. What's right for me is not necessarily right for you. Okay. It's right on my opinion. Obviously, that's the right way to go and do things. And if you don't agree with that, then you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> that's so ridiculous. Right. And, and, and also integrity, integrity and compromise can't live together. Okay. Oh. That's what you say, yeah? I, I can't spell compromise. Compromise. Mm. All right. Anything else? See, I want, if you look at this, right, doing what you said you're going to do, what happens if you don't do what you said you're going to do? And what if you don't do that, Carmel? Yeah, nothing. It just goes out. It just goes out. It just goes out. All right. And so then, what about morality? Mm. How does integrity fit with morality? Again, that's back to personal opinion, isn't it? What, what's moral? What isn't? Because yeah. what may be moral for one person may not be moral for another. Yeah. But going back to the, um, if I don't do what I said I do, well then. Reverse it if you don't do what you said you do for me. I'll never see you again, potentially. In that I won't bother with you unless you come back to me and explain. Right. But I won't be bothered wasting my time. Right. And somebody doesn't do what they say they'll do. So you won't waste your time with someone who you think has no integrity? Well, I'm not interested in their integrity part, but if they don't do what they said they'll do. <laughs> <laughs> but if you hold that as integrity. <laughs> see, I would I learnt this a while ago, right? That there is something called ethics. Yes. And there is something called uh, oh, 
what's the word? Morality. That wasn't the word I was looking for. And there is a word which is like in the legal aspect of right and wrong. Mm. You know, the law. Right? And I want you to consider that integrity isn't in any of those domains. That integrity stands on its own. And that what may be okay with me in honouring myself and being true to myself may not be for Angie honouring herself and true to herself. And so it is, as Agnes says, it's an opinion, it's, an, it's a perspective and it's very individual. But we don't live like that. So when we hear the word integrity, you know, when I hear McDonald's talking about integrity, I notice the hairs on the back of my neck stand up and thinking, no, but then that's me going into morality and into ethics and what's right and wrong and not standing in integrity. And I want you to, I don't know, it's not the truth, I just had this thought, if, if we're making somebody wrong for their behaviour, and I know my husband's listening to this right now, um, then is there any integrity to that, given one person's sense of integrity is so different to mine? See, I do class doing what I said I'm going to do, doing it on time, doing it when I said I'm going to do it, and if I'm not going to do it on time, not going to do it, then saying so as soon as. Um, but what I've also noticed is that for a long time, I was kind of nailed to the floor with the idea of integrity. Like, even though I think, oh yeah, there are different domains, for me, there was always a connection. And it allowed me to be right. And if anyone went against what I thought, then they were wrong. And it did really live in that domain. But actually where the power is for me is to get that it is just I can only work on my integrity. I can't work on Jill's because whatever Jill thinks is integrity for her may not be for me. You had a question, Okan, or a... Well, more about, um, the reason these values are here is to uh, enable us to collaborate. Yeah. So if we're going to do stuff together, one of the things is we're going to do stuff together with the timing, they're doing it to the right quality level, managing our work over time. How does integrity enable us to collaborate? Yeah. You know, like, so today we've got the meeting on, and we could have cancelled the meeting. Yeah. Because for whatever reason, but we didn't. We made it happen, and we all stuck to what we said we would do. Yeah. And I noticed I battled with that. Yeah. You know, because there was a part of me that was like, oh, just cancel it because, you know, there's not going to be 50 people here. And then there's a part of me that is, as I said, foot nailed to the floor. It's going to happen no matter what. I don't care if there's one person I'm going to have this meeting because I said I would. But, there's, but what I'm trying to say is that there's not a freedom no. while I'm nailed to the floor about it. No. And I don't think that's where, I don't think that's where say, Jill and I came from. No. We said we're coming. Yeah. Given that all the reasons it, it, it could not happen, but when it's a function of your self-expression, that pain seems to dissipate. Yeah. Because if you're doing something you said you're going to do because you love it and you want to do it, then all you're doing is fulfilling on something that's your name in front of the room being videoed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was just thinking that, you know, what Werner Erhardt said is that um, integrity is only as important as what you're up to matters. Yeah. So if what you're up to really matters to you, then you are going to fight to be your word. You're going to fight to do things on time and do what you said you're going to do. And if it's not important to you, then you won't. And, you know, that's what I was battling with, with this meeting. It's like, well, is it important enough? And I was like, even if one person found out about B Collaboration today, I would be happy. So, yeah. Great. I think, I think as well, um, integrity within a, a brand new collaboration, people that come together with an, a lovely intention uh, and a mission and a passion they have to set up the integrity within the group. 
because we have to understand well, what does integrity mean to you because actually we want this group to be integral i.e. strong yeah for what the purpose is for what we're going to achieve so let's set some ground rules it's just understanding where each other's at yeah and the ground rules is what allows for something to have integrity if there's no you know if you use your hands on a football pitch, then it has no integrity. Yeah. <laughs> Although it does if you're Barcelona. Um. <laughs> Can I add something else? I think what, because I'm going to say about what we've learned, but when you start, I think what I heard earlier on is judgment. Mm. When you get into judgment about people doing what they say they're going to do or not do it, it really starts to corrode collaboration. Yes. So there has to be some give, because you're not always going to do what you said you're going to do yes. if you're doing something beyond your current level. You're going to fail, you're going to not quite make the mark, you're yeah. going to be stifled, you're going to be, you know, the rabbit in the headlight. Yeah. And I think it, it, there's integrity in giving grace. Yeah, and that's something I'm learning, like undoing my training around integrity. You know, people call me now and they are scared if they're one minute late. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, I'm not that person anymore. <laughs> it's okay. I still love you, I still want to talk to you. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just have a bit more grace, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. All right, so, you know, I think judgment part is, is definitely critical and it st stands in the right and wrong part and it's not necessarily related to integrity. All right, great. So that's this section. <laughs>